Welcome to the first episode of This Month at the Library. We will be using these as another way to make you aware of the latest news at the library and around the Avalon area, as well as showcasing some of the great services we make available to you. We hope you like it. Now on to the news. Our newly renovated children's room will be opening early this month. It will feature all new furniture and shelving that should make it easier for you to find what you are looking for. The room is closed while the remodeling is taking place, but we have a selection of materials available for checkout in the main library room to hold you over until then. Additionally, the main library room has been undergoing some changes. The public PCs, printer, and scanner have been moved to the middle of the room to allow for more collection space. The CD section has been moved slightly as well. We are excited to announce the addition of Creative Bug to our digital library. This great resource offers instructional videos, templates, and more for a variety of crafting mediums like knitting, crochet, jewelry, painting, and others. It's a great way to pick up a new hobby or to keep the kids entertained, and we're proud to offer it to our patrons to use from their iPhone, Apple TV, computer, or Android device. Now let's take a look at some of the events we have coming up this month. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, all events are currently being held online. On Saturday, April 3rd at 1 p.m., learn about the changing history of wedding fashion from the 15th century to today, as the History Center will present a lecture about the history of the wedding dress. Paige Cunningham will guide you through the steps of creating your own concertina garden artwork on Wednesday, April 7th at 1 p.m. Registrants will be able to stop by the library to pick up some basic materials needed for the project, but can also use their own if they prefer. Jana Milbacher of Enchanted Gardens will show participants how to brighten shady spots with pops of color, create focal points for vistas and welcoming entry gardens with stunning container groupings in her Pots with Pizzazz Garden Lecture on Saturday, April 17th at 1 p.m. On Wednesday, April 28th at 2 p.m., author Kit O'Toole will discuss how Motown began as the first black-owned label in 1959, reached widespread national success, and would substantially transform music and culture. And of course, we will have several ongoing programs as well, like our book club and mystery book club, Knitting Social Hour, Genealogy, Creative Writing, Storytime, Great Decisions, Italian Culture, and Online Tech Help. Remember that all programs are currently being held virtually and most will require registration. You can find out more online at www.avalonfreelibrary.org slash calendar. In Avalon area news, 2021 beach tags are available for purchase online thanks to an agreement with the Jersey Cape Diagnostic Training and Opportunity Center. Buyers can head to jerseycapetags.com slash avalonbeachtags to order them and have them shipped to their homes. The tags are $25 through May 31st and $30 after that. In addition, online purchases will be charged a small convenience fee and a shipping fee based on the delivery method selected. Tags will still be available to purchase in person and also through the Vipli app on Apple and Android devices. The Cape May County Herald reports that the Avalon Beach Patrol is changing its organizational structure from a captain and seven lieutenants to a chief, a captain, and six lieutenants with the goal of adding extra management capabilities. The Avalon Home and Landowners Association made a gift of $500 towards the new Claire C. Brodesser Surgery Center at Cape Regional Medical Center. Aloha President Chuck O'Hara, Treasurer John Bell, and Trustee John Cuthbert were all on hand to, de to deliver the check to Cape Regional Administrative Director of Surgical Services Gina Ackerman, President and CEO Joanne Caraccino, and Executive Director Tom Paratsky. The Cape May County Zoo has announced the addition of snow leopard Malia, who has been matched up with the zoo's male leopard, Batar, via the Species Survival Program. So far, they seem to be getting along great and can be seen in their exhibit together. Looking ahead, many Avalon events for early May have been announced. The Avalon Garden Club's annual plant and bake sale will take place on May 1st and 2nd at 39th Street between Ocean and Dune. You can pre-order from a selection of flowers using the form available at avalongardenclub.org. Also May 1st at the 39th Street Greenhouse next to the History Center, New Jersey residents will be able to pick up free tree seedlings, all of which are appropriate for a shore environment. They will be available from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. to sign in with your name and email address and select your seedling courtesy of the New Jersey Tree Recovery Program. The Garden Club will also be participating in the borough-wide yard sale on May 8th at the same location. Should you wish to participate as a part of the event, the form is available on the Garden Club website. May 8th promises to be particularly busy around town as the Community Paper Shredding Day also falls on that Saturday at the Avalon Department of Public Works on the corner of 15th Street and Dune Drive. Also at the Public Works building, the Avalon Police Department will be holding its bicycle auction at 12 noon. The Avalon Fire Department will also be holding a plant sale at the Firehouse at 31st Street and Dune Drive starting at 9am. This is in lieu of the usual hoagie sale due to COVID-19 concerns. 
The Wetlands Institute is also holding their annual native plant sale. It will feature a variety of plants that are na native to our area, which provide many benefits to butterflies, pollinators, and songbirds. You can order your plants online at wetlandsinstitute.org through May 7th for pickup on May 14th and 15th. Now on to books and movies. Here are five of the notable books coming out this month. From Cynthia de Prick Sweeney, author of The Nest, comes Good Company about a woman who discovers that her husband of 20 plus years and best friend have been keeping secrets from her. And When the Stars Go Dark by Paula McLean, a detective flees to the country to escape a personal tragedy, but becomes involved in a missing persons case. David Baldacci is back with his second Archer novel, A Gambling Man, in which the World War II veteran finds himself wrapped up in a scandalous blackmail case. Pulitzer Prize winning author Jumpa Lahiri follows a woman questioning her place in the world in whereabouts, one of the year's most anticipated new novels. Malcolm Gladwell turns his attention to history in the Bomber Mafia, a look at the aviation technology of World War II. Some of the notable movies coming to the library this month include Barb and Star Go to Vista Del Mar, with Kristen, Del Kristen Wiig and Annie Momolo as best friends who leave their small Midwestern town for the first time. Shadow in the Cloud follows Chloe Grace Moretz as a female World War II pilot on a secret mission who encounters an evil presence. Director Neil Marshall's The Reckoning is about a young widow falsely accused of witchcraft. Earwig and the Witch is renowned animation house studio Ghibli's first CGI feature, adapting the children's book by Diana Wynne-Jones. Willy's Wonderland is a riff on the Five Nights at Freddy's video games featuring Nicolas Cage. Did you know all of our library's online resources can be found on our digital library page? From our homepage, just hover your mouse over the Borrow tab and then click on Digital Library. Once you're there, you can select your favorite app from four different categories, entertainment, news, learning, or business. If you need any help getting started with one of the programs, click on the Show Me How tab on the right-hand side of the screen to find a video tutorial to help set you off on the right foot. That's it for this month. I'm Sean Farrell, and I'll see you in May.